everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today we're going to be solving oral medication drug problems using dimensional analysis. Before we start, you'll want to go to her website RegisterNurseRN.com and download the worksheet that matches this video so you can follow along and um, solve the problems as I solve them. And to get the worksheets, you will go to RegisterNurseRN.com backslash worksheets and it will be called Oral Medication um, dosage and calculations worksheet. So just click that, it'll pop up in a PDF and you can easily print it. Also, you'll want to get the metric table um, to help you along with solving these problems so you'll know where we're getting each measurement. Um, you can get the metric table at registernursrn.com backslash metric table. So let's get started. Problem number one, MD orders lactose five grams by mouth twice a day. The pharmacy dispenses you with 40 grams per 30 30 mLs. How many milliliters will you get per dose? Problem number one. In this problem, it asks us, the doctor has ordered lactose five grams by mouth twice a day, and the pharmacy gives us in a little container, 40 grams equals 30 milliliters. So for every 30 milliliters, there's 40 grams, and the doctor only ordered five grams. So we need to know how many milliliters we're going to administer per, per dose. So to do that, we're going to use dimensional analysis to solve. So. Just like with any dimensional analysis problem, you're gonna set up with what the doctor ordered. If you're not familiar with working dimensional analysis problems and need to brush up your skills, we have a video called um, Dimensional Analysis and I walk you through how to solve a problem using dimensional analysis. So check that out if you're not really familiar with it. So let's get started. First, the doctor has ordered five grams. So we're gonna start that out with our problem. We're gonna say five grams. We're gonna put five grams on top. And we want to know how many milliliters per dose. We're trying to get to milliliters. So in diagonal, um, in dimensional analysis, you work diagonally. So we're going to move grams to the bottom. And if you look at your worksheet, it says that what we're dispensed with is 40 grams equals 30 milliliters. So there's 40 grams. Grams cancels out. And there's 30 milliliters in the container. So that's where we got those values from the problem. Now we've already got to milliliters. So what we're going to do is multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom, and then divide. So 30 times 5 is 150. The only thing at the bottom is 40. Then you'll divide 150 divided by 40. That equals 3.75 milliliters. So you're going to be giving 3.75 milliliters per dose out of what the pharmacy gave you to equal the doctor's order of 5 grams. So that's how you solve that problem. Let's move to problem 2. Problem number 2. MD orders Noxafil oral suspension 25,000 micrograms by mouth daily. The pharmacy dispenses you with 100 milligrams per ml. How many mls will you administer per dose? Problem two, we are given the problem and we see that the doctor has ordered Noxafil and he has ordered 25,000 micrograms by mouth once a day. We are given our medication and we are dispensed with a container that has 100, mil, 100 milligrams per milliliter. So we need to know how out of that container can we give 25,000 micrograms. And the problem is asking per dose. So what we're going to do is just by looking at this problem, we know that this is probably going to be a multiple step problem because our vial or little canister says a milligrams, 100 milligrams, and the doctor ordered micrograms. So we know that we're probably going to have to use our metric table and convert um, milligrams from micrograms. So let's get started with this problem. Of course, the very first thing we do with dimensional analysis is that we start out with what the doctor ordered. They ordered 25,000 micrograms. So 25,000 micrograms goes up at the top, and we are trying to get to milliliters per dose. So with dimensional analysis, we work diagonally. We're going to move our micrograms down to the bottom. And here, this is where we're going to come to the metric table. Because in our problem, you notice that it says 100 milligrams per milliliter. So we have to convert this 25,000 micrograms to milligrams. So in order to do that, you have to use your metric table 
um, either refer to it or it's from your memory. And we know from the metric table there's a thousand micrograms in one milligram. So a thousand micrograms equals one milligram. And we've canceled out micrograms, so I marked that out. Now we're in milligrams. And we're trying to get to milliliters. So our what we're dispensed with is already in milligrams, so we can go ahead and use that. We're working diagonally, we're moving milligrams down, and from our problem it says 100 milligrams equals one milliliter. So we're gonna say 100 milligrams equals one milliliter. And milligrams cancels out, and we've been trying to get to milliliters, so we're done and we can solve. We're going to multiply everything at the top, multiply everything at the bottom, and then divide. 25,000 times one is 25,000. 1,000 times 100 is 100,000. 25,000 divided by 100,000 equals 0 0.25. So we will be giving 0 0.25 milliliters per dose out of what the pharmacy dispensed us to give what the doctor ordered, 25 micrograms. So that is how you solve that problem. Let's move to problem three. Problem number three. MD orders ibuprofen six milligrams per kilogram by mouth every four hours as needed for pain for a child. The child weighs 64 pounds. The pharmacy dispenses you with 50 milligrams per two mLs. How many mLs will you administer per dose? On three, we are given that the doctor orders six milligrams per kilogram by mouth every four hours of ibuprofen as needed for pain for a child. The child weighs 64 pounds. The pharmacy gives us a little container of medicine of ibuprofen for every two milliliters is 50 milligrams. So how many milliliters are we gonna give per dose? By looking at this problem, you see that the ibuprofen is per kilogram. So every kilogram, you're gonna be, be giving six milligrams. So the child weighs 64 pounds. So we're gonna to have to convert that to kilograms to see how many milligrams we would give based on the child's weight. Anytime we have a weight-based problem based on a drug, you will see that a lot with your pediatric patients. Um, you'll also see that in the hospital with heparin, drugs like that that are weight-based. We're going, you're gonna know that this is a multiple step problem. And I always like to begin with solving with the patient's weight first, uh, rather than the, what the doctor ordered. So, What we're given, the doctor ordered six milligrams per kilogram, and we are trying to figure out how many milliliters per dose. And below it, we're just gonna write how much the child weighs. And the child weighs 64 pounds. Okay, so anytime with a weight-based problem, like I just said, let's start out with that in our dimensional analysis problem. So we're gonna say the child weighs 64 pounds, and I like to just put one under that and it's just in parentheses as a child. Just helps keep everything balanced. And with that dimensional analysis, you work diagonally. So you're gonna move pounds down. And this is where you refer to your metric table because we're trying to convert 64 pounds to kilograms. And if you go and look, you see that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. So 2.2 pounds in one kilogram, because we're trying to get to kilograms, because that's how the doctor has ordered the medication. Pounds cancels out. Now we're gonna move kilograms down, and we have converted, so we can use the information that's in our problem. And there's one, kilo, he want, there's one kilogram, six milligrams, so you're going to put one kilogram and six milligrams because that's what the doctors ordered. You, normally we would start out with that, be, but since this is a weight base, we start out with the weight base. You can do it either way you want, but that's how I do it. Kilograms cancels out. We're gonna move milligrams down. And from our problem, pharmacy dispensed us with um, a canister that has 50 milligrams in it per two mLs. So 50 milligrams equals two 
milliliters. And we were trying to solve for milliliters, so we're done. Our milligrams canceled out. So we are going to multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom, divide, and then we will get our answer. So 64 pounds times one times six times two is 768. 2.2 times 1 times 50 is 110. 768 divided by 110 equals 6.9818, and it keeps repeating. And we are going to round to the nearest whole number. So it's 7. So we're going to give 7 milliliters per dose out of the canister that the pharmacy has dispensed us with to equal six milligrams per kilogram, and the patient's weight was 64 pounds. So that is how you solve that problem. Now let's move to problem four. Problem number four. MD orders GI cocktail 250 milligrams by mouth every four hours for one day. The pharmacy dispenses you with 100 milligrams per two mLs. How many milliliters will you administer daily? For problem four, the doctor has ordered um, a GI cocktail, 250 milligrams by mouth, every four hours for one day. The pharmacy gives you a, a vial that has 10 milligrams per two mLs. And the problem asks, how many mLs are you gonna give per day? This is not a per dose question. You have to really pay attention to the wording of many questions, because on the NCLEX, on your um, entrance and exit exams, they might ask this. So always pay attention to what the problem's asking. So for this, we're gonna set up a problem a little bit differently, and you're gonna know that it's multi-step problem, just like our last problem we done. So with that, instead of, you know how in the last problem I started out with the weight, this problem I'm gonna start out with the dose instead of the doctor's order. So how we're gonna set up a problem, first we need to ask ourselves, how many doses are we giving in one day? Since it's every four hours, and there's 24 hours in a day, we know that we're gonna be giving six doses since it's every four hours. So we're gonna say six dose, doses equals one day. Now with dimensional analysis, you work diagonally, so we're gonna move dose down. And you're gonna ask yourself, how many does one dose equal? So one dose, according to the problem, equals 250 milligrams, because every four hours the patient is getting 250 milligrams, so that would equal one dose. Dose cancels out, and milligrams moves down diagonally, and you're gonna look at the problem, and you're gonna see what you're dispensed with. Pharmacy has gave you 100 milligrams per two mLs. So 100 milligrams equals two milliliters, and we're trying to get to milliliters per day. Everything is canceled out except for milliliters and day. So we're gonna solve. We're gonna multiply six times 250 times two equals 3,000. And everything on the bottom, which is just 100, so it'd be 100. 3,000 divided by 100 equals 30. So you are gonna be giving 30 milliliters per day. If it was a dose question, you would set it up a little bit differently. You wouldn't have this step. You would just do this step right there, and that would give you how many milliliters you would give per day. But because it's asking for per day, we had to add in that extra step. So let's move to our last problem, number five. Problem number five. MD order Cipro oral suspension 500 milligrams by mouth every 12 hours. The pharmacy dispenses you with 10 grams per 50 mLs. How many teaspoons will you administer per dose? For the last problem, we are ordered, the doctor's ordered Cipro, an oral suspension, 500 milligrams every 12 hours. The pharmacy gives you 10 grams per 50 milliliters. So in 50 milliliters, there's 10 grams. And the doctor has ordered 500 milligrams. So right off the bat, you should know that this is going to be a multi-step problem because we're going to have to convert from milligrams to grams. And the problem wants to know how many teaspoons. So there's going to be even an extra step because the problem we are dispensing in milliliters. So we're going to have to convert milliliters to teaspoons. So this is going to be a one, two, three, four, about a five step problem. 
So let's start out with what the doctor ordered. They order 500 milligrams, okay? And we are dispensed with a canister that's in grams. So we have to convert this 500 to grams. So this is where the metric table comes in. We know that there is a thousand milligrams in one gram. Thousand milligrams equals one gram. Milligrams cancels out. We move grams down because we work diagonally. And in the problem, because we've already converted to grams, we see that 10 grams equals 50 milliliters. So 10 grams equals 50 milliliters. Normally we'd stop because the problems ask for milliliters, but this problem asks for teaspoons. So we've got to get to teaspoons. Grams have canceled out. So you're gonna ask yourself, how many milliliters are in a teaspoon? How do we get there? Well, we know that there's 15 milliliters in one tablespoon. So 15 milliliters equals one tablespoon. We're in tablespoons, but we still gotta get to teaspoons. So move tablespoons down. And we're asking ourselves how many tablespoons are in a teaspoon? And there is one tablespoon in three teaspoons. Now we are in teaspoons. And the problem asks us for teaspoons per dose. So we're done, we can solve. You're gonna multiply everything at the top. 500 times 50 times one times three is 75,000. Everything on the bottom you're gonna multiply. 1,000 times 10 times 15 times one is 150,000. 75,000 divided by 150,000 equals 0 0.5 teaspoons per dose. So you're gonna give a half a teaspoon to equal the 500 milligrams that the doctor ordered. Okay, that's some dimensional analysis on how to solve oral problems. Um, go to our website, registerednursrn.com, and click the slider that says quizzes and test your knowledge to see how well you've done after watching this video. We have a quiz that will test you specifically on oral dosage calculations. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.